Here we go again. Another member of the privileged, pampered media elite having a pop at GB News. James Nochte, a presenter on the licence fee funded BBC Radio 4 and ex-presenter of the morning breakfast show The Today programme, has said the arrival of news channels like GB News in the UK is a worrying development. Speaking to Roger Bolton's Beeb Watch podcast, the star said, I think anybody who looks at what's happening in the States, if they do care about the free flow of information and proper debate, would have to be worried about it. Now, he's conceded that comparing GB News to the ultra-partisan Fox News in America is not entirely fair. He said we're not in that situation yet, but went on to suggest that the broadcast regulator Ofcom has been given the biggest problem it's ever faced. Curious, isn't it, how these figures from establishment media see channels like GB News as a problem? Why would that be? Could it be that we challenge the prescribed narrative found everywhere else, whether it's on immigration, Brexit, the economy, our nation's history, COVID policies, race relations, trans ideology and so-called wokeism? GB News isn't a problem. It's a solution by airing the concerns of millions of Brits who are not happy about the direction of the country. Concerns other broadcasters seem reluctant to address. Now, James Nochte is a colossal talent, and I always enjoyed listening to him on the Today programme. And it's therefore disappointing to hear an esteemed journalist be concerned about the rise of more media outlets. Perhaps he should ask himself why the Today programme on Radio 4 has lost millions of listeners in the last few years. His comments this week remind me of that moment last year when former Sky News star Adam Bolton called for this place to be shut down in a debate on Newsnight that, interestingly, featured no one on defending the channel. Sounds pretty partisan to me, pretty worrying. Bolton talked about protecting the delicate ecosystem of broadcasting. And in my view, what he means by that is protect the status quo. What about our dear, beloved BBC? who pay their fat cat talent and management millions of pounds a year, funded by old ladies who are threatened with jail if they don't cough up the cash just to keep Gary Lineker in gold cufflinks. The Beeb have been accused at the COVID inquiry this week of misrepresenting the threat of the COVID-19 virus in order to support lockdowns. Professor Mark Woolhouse, government advisor and top epidemiologist, railed against the corporation for treating deaths among younger, healthier people as the norm. They were not. He argues the BBC characterised COVID as indiscriminate. It was not. I wonder how that one slipped past BBC Verify. Most egregiously, if Professor Woolhouse is right that the Beeb's reporting of COVID helps support for the case for lockdowns, then the national state broadcaster is in part culpable for the extraordinary damage to this country that these debatable measures have seen. To paraphrase Mr. Nocti, that sounds pretty worrying to me. If Woolhouse is right, the Beeb should not have been selling a policy which has led to a destroyed economy a mental health tsunami, an NHS waiting list of 8 million people and a generation of damaged kids. So BBC radio legend James Nochte is worried about GB News. Well, he's right to be, because we're not going anywhere and we're growing. Why? Because we do things differently. We challenge narratives, we question the status quo and we give you a voice. Now, Ofcom, the broadcast regulator, is investigating several impartiality complaints against GB News as we speak. And so they should. If we cross the line and if we got things wrong, we must face the consequences and we must learn from it. The work of Ofcom is critical in maintaining the integrity and trustworthiness of UK broadcasting. And from our very inception, we always chose to be Ofcom regulated. But Nochte implies that this place is routinely unbalanced. He implies that we are, quote, pulling the wool over the eyes of the population at large, which I think makes you sound pretty thick, don't you think? And he spoke of political discussions on the channel with four people, all of whom have the same view. Well, that more or less happened on Newsnight when they debated this place. But anyone that's watched GB News for more than 11 seconds will know that we normally have opposing voices. And this programme in particular, Mark Dolan tonight, is the home of diverse opinion. 
and famous for the presenter regularly getting a kicking from his own guests, which is how I like it. This iconic BBC star says he's worried about GB News, and so he should be. The party's over for establishment media, but they won't go down without a fight. I'm a big fan of James Nochty, but on this occasion, he's been a very Nochty boy. In fact, I'd be inclined to put him on the Nochty step.